Brooklyn Independent Television. Recently, Brooklyn College, a team on the move, was upset, but there's still hopes in the future. We're going to go defense now for the next couple of drills. We're going to go pressure, force, contain, once around, and then we're going to do tip two. All right? So let's make sure we get in gear because we haven't played defense in two days, obviously with the tape session. So let's make sure we take care of that. All right, pair off. All right, Coach Shea on one side, Coach Baptiste on the other. All right, on three defenses to call. Ready? One, two, three. Defense. defense. Let's go. I love the program. I mean, I'm a Brooklyn Bulldog through and through. I mean, I've coached here so long, we didn't have a mascot name. And now I've, I've been a Brooklyn uh, a bridge. And now I'm a Brooklyn Bulldog. And I'm proud of it. Well, this is my 18th season here. The school had no team here from 1992 to 1994. It was a Division I program. Actually, it was a Division Three until 1981-82. In 1981-82, they went to the um, Division Three Final Four. I think that they're still the only CUNY school that ever did that. Uh, and that was the year they didn't win the CUNY Championship. They, were, they went as an at-large team. Uh, in those days, there weren't as many teams you know, around that got to go to the NCAA tournament. So I said to myself, gee, you know, I grew up in Brooklyn. Well, how neat it would be if they ever start up a program again. I could be the coach. So in 1994, I'd heard that the program was considering starting up, that they would start from scratch as a club team and then build their way back up and hopefully be an NCAA Division III team. So I applied for the position and I had a lot of good contacts in, in college coaching. You know, I guess they called here on my behalf and I got the job. My coach, he's kind of like a father figure to a lot of us. Um, he's a very down to earth person, keeps it real, keeps it 100 all the time. Um, whenever he feels that there's need for improvement, he will let you know. He will come not on, try to like come at you and tell you some other Two stuff. Teams on defense so, at the same time. He's very cool. I, I love him. Still gonna stay on defense. Not only as a person, but as a coach. That's it, J-Mo. Good. Good job. Getting my 200th win was special because when you've been with a program from the start and you know all the struggles you went through to put hang up the rims, pick your first team where you had no chance to recruit. You know, I got the job in July. My first team was a club team, which means we could not have a postseason. The following years, we were ECAC eligible, but not CUNY eligible, because we had to wait until we were full-fledged members of the NCAA again. So, you know, knowing those struggles that you had to, you know, you, you had to recruit kids to come in and buy into the idea they were helping grow something new and exciting that had not been here for years, because you know, it'd been years since it had been a Division Three program. And since it wasn't a successful Division One, you know, any winning we did was much appreciated, you know, by the, by the students here. And so to get the 200th win and to be able to say that I've been here long enough to win 200 games and to have great players that realize how hard it is to win 200 games in any career or in any lifetime, uh, it, it, it meant a lot. It meant a lot for not only my current players, but even those pioneers back in 94, 95, 96, who helped me mold that first uh, group of kids that played on those first couple teams. Playing on this team has enhanced my college career pretty much by the belief of Coach P that he has in me. You know, because he believes in me, it, it allows me to do what, I, do what I do on the court. You know, some coaches will, you know, have you on a leash if you miss. They'll pull you. Coach P believes in his players. He believes that if you miss the first two, you're going to make that third one. So playing here, I think it's definitely been beneficial for my college career if I went anywhere else because Coach P's belief in me has actually made me better as a player because I know that I have somebody coaching me that believes in me. Uh, scoring a thousand points, it felt great. Um, I was actually in the top 20 in Brooklyn College history with a thousand points and you know what it was just telling me like I accomplished a lot accomplished my goals and I'm kind of right there with a lot of the elite players my thousand point it was it was very good for my career you know I was looking forward to it the whole time but once it came like I said I just wanted to get it over with you know because the moment when you get your thousand you know they stop it it's like a timeout but once I got it you know I was looking forward to it the whole the night before but after I just wanted to continue the game, but it's definitely a big part of my career getting that thousand point. You know, my first two years probably I had about 350, so you know I really didn't think I was going to get to a thousand. But the last two years, my scoring pace was very high, so I actually got it, and it's good for me. I want to thank my players. I mean, I love my team. I love my players, every single one of them. 
They come every day to work. They work real hard. They, they don't take nights off. They don't take possessions off. And that's the beauty of coaching. They there come you go, to practice. Philippe. You tell them to do this. They do it. They work hard at it. They ask questions. As a teacher, it's the greatest feeling in the world when you know your kids are asking questions because it tells you they're engaged. And when they're engaged, that's when you know you have a good team. Become a fan on Facebook. Like Brooklyn Independent Television.